I apologize guys, last night, um, the title of the video was Horn Done, Flowers Done, but I never showed them being done because the last clip that I took of them, I don't know what happened to it, it disappeared, so, Here's the horn, the horn is done. I used just a piece of two by four, drilled it through on the other side, mounted the horn, and the flowers, I'm not lying, the flowers are done. So I think they turned out really good. Um, again, thank everybody for, I thank everybody for their comments, and uh, I'm glad that you guys picked number one on the, the vase, because that's absolutely the one that I liked the best. And, if I dig a little hole in the ground, it will also offer, like I said before, the most stability to uh, keep it erect. I, right now, am going to be completely, 100%, blatantly honest with you guys. I had every intention of coming home today and doing the wiring, which, I mean, I did a little bit. I, I soldered the high beam and low beam wires together and the ground wire. Usually, I like to color code my wires, but the only other wire that I have is 14 gauge, which I feel is too small. Um, so anyway, I, I've, I've, I've cut the wires. When you work in automotive and you do wiring repairs, you know, you try to restore it to factory and the way it looks and the way it functions and everything. So it, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Soldering, I, I need heat shrink tubing and the stuff that I have. Okay, the blatantly honest part comes from, I just woke up. <laughs> I came home and I crashed, which is good that I got some extra sleep. And I know I talk about sleep all the time and oh, I'm tired, but you know, oh my gosh, so I got some, yep, I'm still here, same place as I was yesterday, I'm feeling kinda stiff. <laughs> so now would be the perfect time to vlog what I've already done twice before but the vlogs were running late that night and it was something that I could cut out of it, so I did. But today, since I have absolutely zero, I'm gonna vlog it, finally. This painting that I got with the frame, you remember it from a couple days ago. Originally, I thought in the lower right-hand corner, I thought that might have been a price, 1895. No, thinking that somebody might have sold this painting for $18.95 before. And then I go and I look at the other corner, the lower left, and it says after the storm. So that's what the artist named the painting. But it's in the same design, same handwriting as the 1895. That's the date, y'all. <laughs> this painting's old. There is no artist's signature on here anywhere. It's, uh, first of all, I mean, look at this. This is like, what, like an eighth of an inch thick. The canvas, if that's what you want to call it. This is the label that's on the back of the canvas. And if you look at the triangle in the center there, lower left hand side, or lower left of the triangle, it says 18. I imagine there's going to be another date on the other side, but Academy Board. Canvas, oil, sketching, paper, mill boards. Whoever did this, glued this piece to the piece of cardboard and apparently in 1895 if it is that old they still had corrugated cardboard but here's here's something else that kind of like verifies the date um, when they glued the cardboard it looks like they laid newspaper down on like the table or whatever so that they wouldn't get any glue well some of the glue stuck to some of the paper and just the type font and everything. I can't get too close because it'll get too blurry. But just the type font and everything looks flippin' old. So yeah, and you know, it, it's too bad that you can't like take a picture of something and then go online and you know, like you would enter a search or something, but only upload a picture somewhere and have them do like an internet search for that image. So if you guys, my hellions, which I, I'm not expecting anything, but if you guys know anything about this painting, let me know. Um, 
and, and like I said, I imagine this is probably something, some, since there's no artist signature on it, probably something somebody did in their living room. All right, my Hellions. Subscriber shout out. HF Spooky J and the Jacob 911. Thank you guys for subscribing. Very much appreciated. And, of course, Cockin 310. Yes? Okay, here we go. Joy's gal, thanks for the drink recipe. I'm thinking I'm going to need one of these drinks to get through the day. Blah, off to work. I know, I think that's the reason why I stay up so late is because I don't want to go to work in the morning and the sooner you go to sleep, the sooner the next day comes. So that explains everything. Micro glass production, that skeleton is awesome. And today, 82611 is the day that Don't Be Afraid of the Dark comes out. Yay. If any of you guys go out and see that, let me know how it is because I really want to go out and see it. And um, I'm not sure I'm going to do a review on it, but anyway, because I've, I've had crap uh, talked about my reviews, but it's just my opinion, right? So anyway, Columbia Manor, third. <laughs> yes, awesome. Uh, Hallows End Haunt, the Bucky is awesome. Who did you order it from and how much did you pay? I got it off of eBay, uh, $120 with shipping and handling. Actually, I think it was like 117 but you know, you round up. Uh, very useless words. Awesome skeleton. If you have a hair dryer, they work the same. I imagine you're talking about melting the wax. Uh, but since there is no girls in your house, and I seriously doubt your roommate having one, you'll probably have to ask your neighbors or buy one. Um, I actually do have a hair dryer. Um, I got it solely for the purpose of drying uh, latex for the Beetlejuice costume for West Coast Honors Convention. So, um, yeah, but other than that, yeah, no, no, uh, females in the house that have one. Anyway, uh, simile 11, if you're under the age of 21, it applies to you even more, laughing my ass off, even though most of those are light alcohols, if you will, that drink sounds like it will f you up. Yes, yes it will. And it's, it's very good. It's, it, it's fruity. Uh, Hyperflex Harrington 5, my wife and I collect antique clocks, same thing here, 12 midnight, and it brings back memories of Dr. Brown's lab. Your Forrest Gump makes me laugh, thank you. Mom always said that Forrest Gump makes everybody laugh, including all the girls, too. <laughs> uh, don't, feel don't feel bad about the heat gun, I just got one a couple days ago, and still don't have a hot glue gun. You need a hot glue gun. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. Uh, um, Baldzilla Bill, um, I, I, I mean no harm in that at all, I'm just joking. Uh, nice Bucky, thank you. I tried to tell you of a really cool grandfather clock on a Halloween site, but YouTube wouldn't let me post it. Yeah, in the comments, YouTube won't let you post direct links, so you usually have to get creative and type in like DOT and put spaces and make it look all funky and weird. And finally, tell them about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? freaking love Ghostbusters. Um, Ember Pup, so cool, a Bucky. How heavy is a Bucky? Anyway, it's about 19 to 20 pounds. The vase looks good, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, what is the tattoo on your arm supposed to be? Um, I think I've vlogged this before. It's um, basically cowboy hat, boots, rope. The rope is done in a Trinity Infinity Knot, which my half-sister who comes up, or who I've only seen, I'm out of time, who has uh, only seen it like, or I've only seen her like three times. We got the tattoo kind of like the same, I mean not the exact same one, but we got the Trinity Infinity Knot to kind of bind us together. Where was I? Jaten Glorious. I've never thought, I've never bought a buck before. So I love the way you laugh every time you say cock in 310. Well, I have to laugh because I don't want people to think that I'm talking about, you know, cock, you know. Then, okay, so anyway, with that said, what are your plans for the Bucky? Uh, my plans, thank you. Uh, the plans for the Bucky is to um, make it look like a charred body. And then I'm going to put it in the haunt. Something that people can possibly brush up against. Um, but... I'm hoping that I can get like uh, thunder and lightning effects with it so it won't be lit and then they'll see it with thunder and lightning, if that makes any sense. And what are your other prizes for the contest? Uh, first prize, $50 gift card, or excuse me, a Visa gift card. So you can use it like anywhere Visa is accepted. Uh, second place is 30, third place is 10. Um, I did vlog it, but it's good to say that again, although I'm sure some people just like blah, 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 fast forward through this whole little segment that's taking more than three minutes and 10 seconds now. 
And, well, finally, uh, Baldzilla Bill, uh, another cheesy Halloween joke time. I love them, though. What does your new Bucky say before eating? Bon appetit. All right, guys. Happy haunting. More tomorrow, I promise. And uh, we'll, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to thumbs up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to post a, uh, a little you know, reminder at the beginning of this vlog. Just do it. For, for the outro of this video, that'll give you time to do it. Please. Please and thank you. Sit, popcorn, sit. Good girl.